Welcome to Outdoor Activities, and today we've moved outdoor, and we're going to do sidewalk chalk. Now, don't forget that Vernon Communications and Macintosh Memorial Library have a great partnership this summer. And today, when we do sidewalk chalk, remember that you can go to the Macintosh Memorial Library website, and you can download and print all of the activities we're doing today, plus a bunch more. And um, just on a side note, remember on Tuesday when we planted our earth garden? Here's where mine is sitting. It's soaking up all those lovely sunshine rays and hopefully in a couple weeks we'll see some little sprouts sneaking out of that soil. So today I thought we'd start with um, hopscotch. Do you remember? I don't know. Have any of you ever played hopscotch? The game's over this way. And everybody needs their own rock. I'm going to pick up some rocks over here. I just need one because I'm just by myself. <laughs> and how this starts is you have to hop on one foot. That's not as easy as it used to be for me. You guys will probably be way better at it than me. So you toss your rock. Usually you draw a line. And you have to start behind the line. But if you're younger, you can go closer, or if you're older, you can be farther away. It's up to you. You got to get your rock to land in there. Then you have to hop on one foot. Pick up your rock and hop out. <laughs> See, it's hard for me. Okay, then you have to go to two. Oh man, I missed. So now my turn's over and the next person would go. Now wherever your rock is, you have to pick it up, then you can go get it. Then you can hop in that spot. So I would start, hop, pick it up, hop, turn around, hop, hop. And then you're out. Then you would get another turn and go to three. So when you're in two, you have to pick up three. When you're in three, you have to pick up four. Then you hop into that one but you can't enter it if a rock is there. All right, that is hopscotch. And there's lots of kinds of hopscotch boards. Um, you can make the configuration however you want. You can make it harder or easier. If you're little, you just have to go like this. Like me, that would be good for me to do. So, let's go over here and this is called hopscotch calculator. So with this game, you have to start with one. So you go into one, and then you have to think of an equation that will equal one. So I could do nine minus eight equals one. Those are big steps. And if you want to make this difficult, you can have to hop on one foot. I prefer this way myself. <laughs> Let's do two. Um, four divided by two equals two. Let's try three. Let's do, three is tricky, because that is a prime number, so there's not a lot that equals three. One times Three equals three. That turned out to be a nice, easy one for me. <laughs> All right, let's do a divide by. Okay, we're on number four. We're working through the calculator. This is calculator hopscotch, if you haven't figured that out. Okay, so we're trying to equal four. So, four divided by two equals well, four. All right. So that is calculator hopscotch. Let's move over here to tic-tac-toe. So first thing you do is you find five rocks. And you put five X's on one of them. And then somebody else finds five rocks and they put O's. So. 
You can either toss or you can set, depending on how difficult you want it to be. I'll be the O. And then you can turn it over so you can remember where your rocks are. Now X gets a turn. And then O. Then X. Then O. <gasps> I made a mistake. Look at what happened to X. Three in a row. Tic-tac-toe, three in a row. Then you just take them off and try it again. So that's a nice outdoor way to play tic-tac-toe, but you could do it inside on a rainy day with paper and pencil if you want. Snail's paste. Oh yeah, that's a good name for Miss Mary. Um, <laughs> all right, so what you're supposed to do is hop on one foot all the way in. Try not to step on any lines. Woo! And then you get to go on two feet and then you have to go back. And that's hard to do for me. <laughs> ah. See, now my turn would be over because I hopped out. And so then it, the next person would go. So, that's called snail's pace. And if you want, you could do it like this. Okay, first you have to hop to one. Out. And you get to go to two. Out. Three. Out. And you turn around and keep popping until you get all the way to 18. And then back out. You get a lot of good exercise with that game. So don't forget that you can go to the Macintosh Memorial Library website. You can download and print these. And then you'll have lots of fun games for the summer. Don't forget that on Tuesday next week, it's Science Day again, and we're going to do surface tension activities and density activities. So tune in at three o'clock, and you can watch some hands-on science that you'll be able to do at home. <laughs>